Hey Roman, how you doing? Doing good, how are you? Good, welcome to my interview series. It finally has a title now, it's called Conversations with Megan. Awesome. <laughs> it took a while to figure out, I don't know why. But um, I'm so happy to have you. And there's like so many reasons I'm excited to talk to you. Uh, we tried last week and we're, uh, my computer died, so we're trying again. Thank you for your patience. Um, uh, but I'm so excited to talk to you because you're such a talent in and of your own right, but you have this amazing family history that you never talk about, and so I'm excited to chat about it. Of course, yeah. Where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. Um, yeah. Nothing to say about it. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't too special. Uh, we. I mean, I. I always followed my parents whenever they took class or whenever they taught class. I took, but um, I was always around the theater. Around and you're, the studio. you're the oldest child. I am. Yeah. Okay, and we should introduce your parents. Your dad is Paul Mejia, who was in the core of New York City Ballet. Mm. Back in like the seventies, yeah, sixties, sixties, yeah, and um, and then he met your mother in Chicago working for uh, Maria Talchief for Maria Talchief's company. Yeah. What was her company called? Uh, you know? Chicago Chicago Ballet. Chicago okay. City Ballet. And your mom yeah. was teaching there, and then your dad joined, and and was, were they uh, ballet she masters? A, she was actually a student. I think oh. she was a student there, and then she okay. joined uh, her company. So yeah. she was in the company, and your dad was he in the company, or was he? He was like a, a co artistic director. Oh, okay. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And then you guys were all born in Texas. Your parents moved down to Texas and started a family. Right. Cool. So I'm super curious to know how much did you know about your parents' background and in ballet, and how much did that inform like you wanting to dance? Well, actually, I really didn't know anything until a lot later on. And, um, yeah, I, he kind of dropped it on me when I was 14, 13, and I was getting ready to go to my first summer course at SAB. So I really had no, no idea. About, like, where he danced or, like, no. yeah, any of yeah. that. Interesting. And, and so, but they were teachers, and so that's why you were taking ballet. Right. So when, yeah. did, when did you start? I started when I was three. Oh, wow. Three yeah. That's when my brother started, actually. Um... I think when there's someone else in the family that's got it going on, you start a little earlier. So that's right. amazing. But yeah. like three years old, you started with like real ballet at three or just like fun? Like yeah, was it yeah, I wouldn't call it real ballet, but um, I was moving around. Yeah. I was definitely moving around a lot. And I didn't really start seriously. I think they started actually teaching us ballet technique when we were around like six or seven. Okay. Or eight, yeah. Okay, so, but like... Your parents gave you really classical training. Yeah. I didn't I actually didn't really have my parents' classes until I was like 11 or 12. Oh, okay. Is that yeah. weird to have your parents be telling you a correction and like... Yeah, I mean, I used to not like it at all, actually. Yeah. I, I used to go against it, but I mean, now I... Of course, now it's a lot different, but... Yeah, now it's like gold, yeah. right? That'd be yeah. like... That's like yeah. having my brother, like, and someone that I trust that knows what we're doing and what the goal is to be like, how did that look? What, what do you right. have to say? Yeah, it's really yeah. nice to have that. You know, most of us, like, we have, we've been to a school that, like, had jazz and tap. You didn't do any of that. No. Yeah. yeah. It was like, like, Russian training. Right. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And so, like, what variations were, were you practicing when you were younger? Don Q, by Adair. All the way, Corsair. All the classics. Yeah. So, did you ever want to end up in ABT? Yeah, I always thought I always wanted to. You know. Yeah. In the back of my head when I was younger, I always thought I always thought I was going to go to Bolshoi because at, at that time I thought Bolshoi was like the only company. So yeah. I always thought I, was, I, always thought I was going to end up in Russia somewhere. But, Amazing. Yeah. You you would fit in, I think, except they're all very tall. <laughs> yeah, they're all extremely tall. <laughs> <laughs> and so. Uh, what did your dad say? Because both of your parents trained at SAB. Right. 
And uh, what did your dad say when you wanted to first go there? He was, he was kind of like, why do you want to go there? You know? <laughs> did you get the sense he was trying to keep you from his, like, experience in New York? Like, he wanted yeah. you to do your own? I mean, not necessarily. I, I just... I don't know, he just never, you know, never brought it up. And he seemed surprised when I asked him if I could go to SAB. He was like, how did you, how did you know about that? How did you find yeah. out? <laughs> how did you find out, yeah. Now they've relocated to be closer to you and your career. Right. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And so your, is your little brother still in high school? Yeah, he's still in high school. So he, he was, relocated in the middle of all of that. How is he yeah. feeling about that? He's doing all right. He's doing it all, um, all online right okay. now. So he's, he gets to stay home and he's got a like really chill schedule. Is he is he a dancer too? He used to dance actually, but okay. um, I, I, he doesn't think it was for him. He yeah. more than listened to it. Yeah. And what's he into? The whole family's uh, in the ballet world, and he's like. He likes basketball and video games. Okay, totally yeah. normal yeah. young boy. And your sister is she dancing anywhere? Uh, no, not anymore, actually. She's um, studying to get her Pilates certificate now. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, which brings me to another part of your family that I think is so fascinating. Your dad's mom. Right. Her name? Her name was Romana. Romana. Romana Pilates, yeah. Yeah. And she w trained under Joseph Pilates, or she was, like, one of his, like, disciples, I guess you could right. yeah. call it. Yeah. Amazing. And I know a lot about that because my Pilates teacher trained underneath her. Mm -hmm. So she knew her very well. Um, wasn't Romana close with Mr. B? Yeah, she was. She actually also went to the school, like back when I guess it was first. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it's crazy. So she went to the school. What made her stop dancing? Uh, she kind of had bad injuries in her foot. I don't really know exactly what it was, but she started doing Pilates because of her injury, and she ended up really taking off with it. And then... She had, and then she had your dad in New York and started a, f a family in New York. Yeah, they were, my dad was actually born in Peru. So I guess at some point she ended up moving to Peru. And um, that's where my, my dad and his sister were. So born. is your dad half Peruvian? Yeah. Okay, cool. Have you guys ever been there? No, I've never been to Peru. I've always wanted to go. There. I really want to go too. Yeah. Um, I have this really unoriginal bucket list dream of going to Machu Picchu. <laughs> Same. Obviously, everyone knows. <laughs> um, so, so she worked close. How, like, what do you know about your grandma and her time with Balanchine and her time with Joseph Pilates? Do you know anything from your dad? I mean, I, I'm probably not the best person to really ask <laughs> because I don't, I don't, I don't really know too much. But um, I mean, what I think is fascinating is that you yeah. don't know much. Because I'm, I'm, like, fascinated by, like, your family and the history and, like, all of the connections and how you found your way to mm -hmm. New York City Ballet. But I love that you don't know much about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know, actually. Like, it's not something that you lived with, like, oh, and grandma did yeah. this and my dad did this. And, like, none of that ever affected you or was, like, part of the way that your family communicated about they're oh, so interesting. Yeah. Like, because I think they had pretty legendary, you know, experiences. And they and to not, like, talk about it, I just think yeah. it's interesting. I find it fascinating. You have a, yeah. must have a very humble family. <laughs> yeah. But they must not talk about themselves. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So, um, and so did your dad know balancing from a young age? Yeah, my dad uh, studied studying at the school when he was, I want to say, eight years old. Uh-huh. Seven, eight. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it was like a really big part of his life. So he was like living in New York, going to the School of American Ballet. Right. From like the beginnings. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, he was actually in the first workshop, too. The first SAB workshop. Oh, wow. Do you know what he did? I think he did Franz in Capelli, actually. Oh, amazing. Yeah. That'd be such a good role for you, too. Maybe one day. Are you yeah. guys, do you, do you think you're similar dancers? Do you know? Like, do you have any footage of your dad dancing or? Actually, there's like no footage. There's only, we only have one video of him and he's like all in black and the background is black and there's no ah! music. So all you see is like his head floating he's around. Like, be doing something all these else. He was a crazy dancer. So yeah. I know that he was in the core doing like some principal roles, like mm -hmm. before he left with Suzanne to go to Bejart. Right. Um, 
Like I know he was doing like symphony in C third movement. Yeah. Do you so do that? Is... Do you do that role yet? No, I, I learn it though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Soon to be, you will soon be tortured by that role. <laughs> Has your dad told you how miserable it is? <laughs> huh? Sorry. Did your dad ever tell you how miserable that that role is? He never really says how hard things are. He's always like, "Oh yeah, dude, it was easy." <laughs> like. So interesting. I guess yeah. you know you forget too how when as time passes, I I will never forget how hard uh, BZ was for me. <laughs> like third movement, like yeah. Just miserable. But I think it's a little bit worse for the girl because we're not used to jumping like that. Yeah, it's like, a lot of jumping. That's a lot of jumping. I remember um, the first time that I had to do it, I was at a cocktail. Do you know who Linda Hamilton is? I don't think I've met her, no. She's Dr. Hamilton, who is uh, our orthopedic surgeon for many, many years in the company. She's his wife, and she used to be in the company too. Mm. I mean, your dad probably knows her. And she's yeah. like a, a psychologist now or a, a therapist. Yeah. And I saw her at a cocktail party. I thought we were just chatting normal. She was like trying to analyze and help me. She was like, oh, so what's coming up for you? And I was like, oh, I have to debut Symphony in C, Third Movement in D.C. like in a couple weeks. And I'm just so stressed out because how am I supposed to be able to jump like a guy? And she ended up like calling me like a week later to let me know. No one expects you to jump as high as the man. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Which was kind of a relief to hear. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> yes, yeah. those are boy steps, you know? Those, yeah. are, those aren't girl steps. It's really overwhelming for the girl. Um, so, and does your dad, so what, what does he, doesn't, does he say anything about his time in New York City Ballet um, now that you're in the company? Does he share more stories? Yeah, absolutely. He definitely does. Cool. I mean, my first time going to city, uh, going to SAB in the summer of 2014, he hadn't been in New York City in like 40 years. Uh -huh. So he hadn't seen Suki and, you know, they, he hasn't seen any of them in 40 years. For, so it was like a big, I think it was a big shock for him. That's a you lot know? to like process. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Does he talk about his time in Europe at all? Absolutely. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm he, never, he never says anything about it, but if you ask him, you know, he'll Okay, definitely. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised you're not more curious about it because you're such a bunhead. And then no, I'm, I'm definitely curious. I, I've, I've heard, I've had him tell me old stories. Oh, you have? So, yeah. You have. Yeah, because how old was he when Suzanne and him got married? He was 20 years old, I think. 20. Oh, wow, that's super young. Yeah. I don't, how old was she? Do you happen to know? I don't even know. She's, I think she was older than him. Uh-huh. 20, 22. Are they, are they still friends? Yeah, they are. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. I know that she's kind of a quiet and reserved person. Yeah. You know, like I saw her once in D.C. just getting into the elevator. She looked like she didn't want anybody to talk to her. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know if she's shy or just like super reserved, you know, keeps to herself. But um, mm. uh, all of us are fascinated to to know more about her. You know, she, she keeps it very private, you know. Mm. Um, but... So much of what we do in New York City Ballet, it's like steeped in history that, that she created. Right, So yeah. it's kind of amazing. I love that they're still friends. So, and how long were they in Bejart together? Um, Maybe six years, I want to say? Yes, five, six. And, and so that was the majority of your dad's dance professional career. Yeah. Interesting. Does he have like more pictures and footage from that than from New York City Ballet? Um, actually, I, I haven't seen any footage of him dancing in Europe, actually. Interesting. I've only seen, like, a couple little bits and pieces. There's one recording of him dancing with Jacques Dumbois when he's, like, 13 years old, like, 12, 13. And How cute is that? How cute is that? together, yeah. How but cute. But there's not much, actually. Yeah, interesting. I just love that. Um, and when, when you started getting a lot of roles in the company, were your parents just, like... Uh oh, or or excited, were, you know, like it's like they were thrilled. Yeah, they yeah. were really happy. That's amazing. Yeah, like I, I'm just sure that they, your dad, never thought he would have a son that would make a full circle moment like this yeah. in in your family. It's quite amazing, and and for you to come and uh, kind of finish what your dad started. That's kind of how I, I kind of think of it, yeah. and I think it's kind of cool. You know, because you know, he, cool he didn't he didn't really get going. It was like quite soon after they got married that they left. Yeah, yeah he had to stop dancing when he was around twenty seven years old. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to finish finish for him what, what he started. I love it. So tell me about the first big role that you did with New York City Ballet because you started 
super, super young? Mm. Um, I think my first role, I think it was Fawn in Four Seasons. I think it was, Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know why I was thinking Fawn, Afternoon of a Fawn. No. <laughs> I need to drink more coffee. One second. Sorry, I just chugged um, a nectar cold brew. <laughs> a cold brew is good. I was drinking that yeah. at the beginning of the pandemic. Mm. Now I'm into the hot coffee. Yeah. Um, okay, Fawn. I feel like I saw that. That was the first thing you did. I think so, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, like, how do you deal with nerves? Because from the outside, it's super impressive. You you seem to be super chill and, like, you were, like, made to perform. Because this is – maybe you don't know, but a lot of people go out there their first time and they're, like, don't have also the performance quality as well as the, the technical abilities. You know, like, because they're shy or it takes a while yeah. to, like, be more outgoing. And I actually find you a pretty shy person at work. Like, you're pretty, I, I'm, you're I'm pretty quiet. quiet. Yeah. But then yeah. you get out there and, like, you, you're you really, like, a, a showman. I don't know. I, get, I definitely get pretty nervous before I go out. I mean, I know I definitely get nervous. Sometimes it'll keep me up the night before because my, my mind will be racing. But, I mean, that's only because I want to do it well. You yeah. know? I just want to make sure it's good, but... Yeah, I get pretty nervous. Pretty it doesn't nervous. show at all. Yeah. It doesn't show. And then I think another thing that really blew me away was when you did Fancy Free. Like, um, no. was that soon after? What came after? Um, I think it was soon after that, yeah. That's, after. A, that's a lot to learn yeah. and, and manage in terms of your personality and stuff. Mm. And you're just kind of like, no big deal? I, 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 like, I really like that role, too. Yeah, it Roll suits you back. well. I mean, it's, it's nice when things suit you really well. Yeah. So, who's been your favorite um, ballet master to work with? Um, I really like uh, really like to work with JP actually. Uh huh. You guys have worked really, together. Really reminds me of my dad. Yeah. Does he know your dad? Yeah, he was actually um, my dad's prince. So my dad used to do tea and like cavalier. Oh, okay. So yeah. he's he's younger than your dad. Yeah. So does JP ever say anything to you about your dad, or he just doesn't comment? No, he does. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. too fun. It's too much of fun yeah. of a connection. I mean, yeah. obviously, I'm bursting with excitement about it, and I've never talked to you about it in person at work. <laughs> yeah. But it's like a really fun connection. I mean, a lot of us are just coming here out of the blue with like no. I mean, I have like no one in my family that dances. Like no historical connection to SAB and and also I think that something about our company that's interesting is that we care so much about what how it started and and all of the people that made it what it was what it is yeah. and and so the history is important to everybody that's in the company but like the history is like part for you your family yeah it's really neat like I guess you know don't know any other way so it doesn't like Tickle yeah. you as much as I find it interesting. <laughs> yeah. And did JP like? Did did he ever get to meet your dad backstage or anything? Yeah, he has. Oh, that's yeah. a fun moment. That's a fun moment. I mean, your parents yeah. must be so proud. Is your mom? How does your mom feel about you having this budding career? And uh, she's you know she's really happy. Yeah. 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 How long did she dance for? She danced for a while. Um, she, I, I know she retired around when she was 35 because she wanted to have me. And she danced for... Oh, she had a long career. Yeah, she yeah. danced for a long time. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of dancer was your mom? Uh, she was a classical dancer. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, she, she had legs and feet. Crazy. I didn't get those legs. <laughs> <laughs> it was all my little brother, actually. He got it all and he, like... And he, he doesn't want to do it. Out. Yeah. You guys must be frustrated. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like, man. <laughs> well, you have enough, obviously, to have quite a career. Um, yeah. How have you been feeling since, like, the pandemic started? I've been thinking about all the different groups in the ballet world. Like, you know, I feel bad for people that were about to retire and now they have to wait. Yeah. I feel bad for students that don't yet have a job that are going to really struggle to find a job for a while. But then I've also been thinking, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that it might be hard if you were, like, building some momentum towards a promotion or something and like you were getting to a lot of opportunities and like but you weren't quite there yet 
How how does that feel? I mean, it was kind of a shock because I was I was getting in so I was I feel like I, I always felt like I was in great shape. Yeah. And you know, near that end of the season, like that final stretch, went from Nutcracker right into like winter. So I was like, I was in crazy shape. I felt like, and then all of a sudden, it just like stopped. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do for like a good couple weeks. Like I didn't take class or anything. I was just kind of sitting around. Yeah. But and how old are you? I'm 20. No, I'm actually 21 now. 21. Yeah. And and so how long have you been in the company? Um, like three and a half years. But did you do an extra year as just like a? Yeah, like a guest apprentice. A guest apprentice. I, think I don't even years. know. I think they created that for you. Oh no. <laughs> you and I Gilbert, did, right? Sorry, yeah, me and Gilbert. We just did. Um, Sleeping we just did Nutcracker and Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But that was fun because, like, you guys got to have a little taste of it without having a ton of responsibility and you were, like, around. One thing I've always been really fascinated by about you is how much you like to watch performances. Mm -hmm. You're always in the front wing, usually on stage left, on stage yep. left. And, like, how did that start for you and what what is the you know, motivation behind it? Like, are you watching to, because you're interested in a role? Are you watching because you're interested in watching a certain dance, like, guy that you want to mm -hmm. emulate? Or do you just love ballet that much that you can't leave the theater? I just love it, you know. I just, I mean, I love watching everybody dance it and their own, own everybody's interpretations, you know, and I love the music, the It's ballet, amazing. You know? I mean, like, you're, like, the most, I mean, like, you'll even sometimes finish a ballet, and then come stay and watch, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, like, I'm embarrassed to say, as soon as the curtain goes down for my ballet, I'm like... Sometimes I'm out, though. Yeah, sometimes I am. It just you know. Hardly ever. You are there, <laughs> like, you're there more than some ballet masters. <laughs> you could probably teach some of these ballets already. Oh, man, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> have, have you found that watching a lot like that has helped you, like, maybe suddenly they're having you learn something that you didn't that, that you'd been watching a lot and you didn't know you were going to do someday and you're like oh I, I've seen that I kind of know it yeah no absolutely what ballet sure. did that happen for you um Allegro oh, I didn't okay. ever think I was going to get the chance oh yeah to do you that. did the principal yeah I didn't ever really think I'd get the chance to do it because you know it was like everybody that I saw doing it was always taller yeah you know but like I've watched it so many times that I you know I know it you know yeah so I was really happy that I got the chance to perform it. That was amazing. So you did it with Tyler Peck. Mm -hmm. I was gone then. I don't. Maybe I was on maternity leave. Right. How many shows did you guys do? Uh, I think the first time we just had. I think we had three or two. I think we just had two that first time. Okay, so take us through like what it's like to dance with a principal dancer and be new in a principal role. I mean, that's a pretty classical ballet. Yeah. It's not. I mean, I guess you could say the stuff in it that you do by yourself is easy for you. Maybe for other people they find it hard, but for you it's like easy stuff. Just you know, like the pirouettes and everything. But the partnering, like how like how much did you guys get to rehearse and like how stressful is that being like the young underdog coming in and yeah. being like, well, you know, you, you got to feel like you got to make it happen right away because it was a short amount of time and emergency situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely nervous going into it. Um, I, I hadn't really gotten the chance to partner that much on stage, so I was a little, I was kind of nervous. I wanted to make sure, you know. There's was, a lot of finesse in, in that. Yeah, there is, yeah. But, you know, Tyler, she's like, can do it all. She could probably do it in her sleep. That's yeah. true. <laughs> by herself, but, no, yeah, I just, I, I just didn't want to throw her off. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I have in the back of my head. Don't do too much, you Don't know? Don't get in her way. That's probably yeah. a really good approach for her. That's yeah. true. That's true. Even on those triple pirouettes to the attitude, she probably yeah, yeah, just yeah. does them on her own, and you just placed her in attitude. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's amazing. Did your parents get to come see that performance? Yeah, my mom. I think my mom saw that my first time doing it. Amazing. So, like, that's why they're out here now, so they don't have to, like, take a random flight yeah, out of nowhere uh, to yeah. see you do this emergency performance you didn't even know you were going to do. Was it right. like within a week that you found out? I think so. I think so, the first time, I think the first time it was like when I had a couple weeks. Not all, not all shorter boys are talented partners. So how do you feel? What about your training 
prepared you for a moment like that? Um, well, my dad, I always think, I thought my dad was always a really good partner. He was like, he was, um, whenever he taught at our school in Arlington, Texas, he was, you know, always demonstrating and he goes with taller girls, little girls, you know, like he was just, he always had it, you know, my mom always said he was an amazing partner. So I just watched, you know. And did your dad tell you who taught him to partner? Um, no, I think, I, I, I don't really remember if he taught part of the classes at the school. Yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know, it took me a lot of getting yelled at to figure it out, like, how so, to partner. I'm curious when you're, because I come from schools where there's, like, no boys and there's no partner in class. When you have, how many other guys were in your school at home and how early did you start learning to partner? Well, with my parents, when my parents had their own school, it was just me. Right. I was just a boy. And we had a couple other professional, like, male dancers there from, you know, outside. And they'd come whenever we take pot class. And so I'd, I'd be able to watch them, too. Okay, that's cool. But, yeah. That's but amazing. I was the only boy. Yeah. I mean, that's super, it is hard to be the only boy. Like, for my brother, like, when he first came to SAB, I don't think he'd ever done, like, a, a double tour or, like, any man step at all. Mm-hmm. And, like, but you had your dad there, like, yeah. from the very beginning. Like, what kinds of... What kind of special attention were you getting at a young age just for male steps? I mean, I think for what my dad did, as soon as he saw that I could do something, he just started having me do it over and over again. It doesn't, I mean, like when I first did a double tour, it wasn't good, but I got around twice, you know, so uh-huh. I was like, All right, this kid has a feeling, you know, let's start, yeah. you know, working on it. You'll get cleaner as you go. Yeah. But, so I started doing a lot of like double tours, stuff like that a lot earlier, I think, like doubles at a boss. Like what age? I'm curious. Like 12, okay. 11-ish, not that, you know, not too young, but like, I was just starting to be able to get around twice, like in the air. <laughs> he was just like, let's start working on it then. I, at first, like, I didn't switch my feet at all and double towards the wilderness, like in front. Is that an, a Russian technique? Or you I mean, just that's didn't how my, know? My dad used to do it like that. You know, oh, interesting. Like, oh yeah, we never just used to switch, you know? Like everybody didn't <laughs> used to switch. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Just for people watching, usually when you do a du- double tour, you change your feet in the air and land with a different foot in front. So, interesting. So, once you add that, you probably have, like, a lot more force and control. It took me a while to get, get, to get used to it, actually. Oh, really? Interesting. I didn't start switching until I went to SAB right away. Interesting. And who were your teachers at SAB? Um, my first summer course was Jock, Soto, uh, Arch, and Crammy, um, John. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, how, how how soon did you come to SAB? Um, I stayed for the winter term when I was 15 years old. Term, oh, okay. 15, so, like, your sophomore year of high school. Yeah. And then you were in the, you were a guest apprentice at 16? 16, so the next year, yeah. The year yeah. after that. Like, it was, like, January, right? Oh, no, it was yeah. Nutcracker into January. Yeah, Nutcracker, yeah. Yeah. That's super young, because they're not taking people that young anymore. I think I just yeah. saw in the contract... That 16 is the youngest age. Mm. But um, I think they're trying to take people a little older now, but I guess yeah. you you're, came, like, already ready to go, so they just brought you in. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been scary being that young, walking in there as, like, a guest apprentice, too, because you're, you're not with the yeah. crew, you know? Yeah, I was starstruck. I was like... Yeah. <sighs> no. It was really funny. The first time I ever met you... You were doing a lot of grandpa mm-hmm. roles, like in the Nutcracker. Yeah. And like, I like memorized your face with all the grandpa lines. <laughs> like, I was <laughs> like, it was like I would see you without that makeup, and I'd be like, "Where is it? <laughs> like, you're missing, yeah. you're missing half of your face." And I, I also want to talk about the very first time I ever saw you. So maybe, maybe you were like 16, 17. No, you must have been just like your guest apprentice here. I don't know. We did a menage in class. And I was sitting down fixing my point shoes or something. And I saw you. I literally went, whoa! <laughs> like, I was, like, <laughs> so amazed. I had no idea. It was, like, incredible. Like, you totally, I don't know if you knew you had that effect on on anybody. But you came, you came in with a bang. Like, you know, sometimes guys are a little slower to develop. And so you don't expect them to come in ready to go do Cavalier, right? Yeah. Like, so you kind of came in with the whole package, but 
Are you you weren't aware of that? You're just totally humble and chill. Yeah, I mean, you're you're just too nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's no part of you that was like, yeah, I felt confident when I arrived. I mean, my dad definitely helped because I know. I mean, I know what I can do. Yeah. So, I mean, I know my limits too. So. Yeah. I mean, also jumping. I, I just love jumping too. So whenever yeah. I get the chance, I'm gonna go all in. <laughs> yeah. Um. What are things about your dancing? Because you are so young, there's so much that you could probably still do and work on. What are things that you look for forward to, like seeing yourself grow in, and like it could be a role, it could be a, a type, a part of partnering. Like, what do you want to work on as a dancer? What are your goals? I can't wait to come back and partner again because I haven't partnered in like eight months. You know, it's been so long. So. so, wait, how are you supplementing? Um, you picking up heavy furniture and just lifting yeah, it up and down? Yeah, just doing some push-ups. <laughs> I'm going to try squatting my couch later today because I've just been inside for the past five days. But, yeah. I don't know. you know, just like little little things. Yeah. And are you getting into the studio much? Yeah, I am. That's good. I'm actually going to head back home tomorrow and have my parents whip me back into shape. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. So, do they have a studio where they're at? Yeah, we have a studio in our basement, actually. In in Connecticut? Yeah. Where they just relocated. Right. Amazing. They have a studio in the basement? Yeah, we just set up, like, a little floor and some marley. And it's, but it, is, it, like, is the ceiling high enough for you to really jump? No, not really, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's good for bars and, like, yeah. some pirouettes and, like, yeah. 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 Is it have a little sprung floor? Yeah, it's sprung. That's nice. Yeah. So, what, your dad's just going to, like, give you class? Yeah, I cannot. I can't wrap my head around a parent that is a dancer. <laughs> my parents are so far removed from it. It would be like <laughs> we just laugh. My mom like points her foot. She has a really nice arch, but it'll be at like a full ninety degree sickle, like oh. and and she's like really uncoordinated and like and my dad's not flexible. Like somehow the combination of them made dancers, but there's nothing about them that is. <laughs> Could ever have been ballet dancers themselves. So I can't imagine going home and having your parent be the one give you class. Yeah. It just boggles my mind. And so your dad I mean, gives you, kind of gives you class more than your mom would. I mean, they, yeah, both pretty equally, actually. I try to spread it out. It's I like mean, you have your own built-in private lessons all the time. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. That's incredible. I actually prefer going back home because I they, they really keep me in track. Like I can, sometimes I can wander and, you know... I mean, right now, I mean, this is, this is going to take a while, so yeah. we have to pace ourselves. No, that's true. You know? Otherwise, you don't want to get to the very end right before we get back and be at the end of your rope with it And in terms of motivation. you got to have some left to squeeze out. No, true. You know? Because yeah. usually we're fed by the performance. Like, mm. you put the work in. And then you get the release of the performance and that feedback, and it gives you renewed energy to go in the next day and do it again. But mm -hmm. to just do the daily grind of, of class, like, yeah, it's, it, hard. it's too hard to self-create that adrenaline that we usually get out of performing that, that feeds it all. So, yeah, well, I definitely think we all have to pace ourselves, but um, we're all not as lucky as you to have our private coaching fathers ready to whip us into shape yeah <laughs> so what are you uh what role are you most looking forward to when we get back um what goes in the fall i'm pretty sure i saw i have like one ballot i'm like okay that's good start off slow <laughs> yeah i think i think western comes back at one point and so that's the one i saw to, hopefully i'll get to uh yeah, I get to do uh, what Rondo That's right. Can. That's another one that you totally got thrown into. Yeah. The day one. of. Wait, yeah. tell me about it. I think I, I remember watching Andy doing his complete, I think, earlier that day, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and, and then, then he had a family call, emergency. I got a call later. Yeah, I got a call later, and they're like, can you do it tonight? I was like, yeah, shit. Let's, but were you already <laughs> understudying it? I was learning. I was, I was supposed to do it um, two weeks. Oh, okay. Later, so you're already later. in the mindset of this role is mine at some point. Yeah, I was I was ready. To, I was getting ready to do it. Right. And I just I think Tommy called me later that night. He was like, "Yo, can you do 
Can you do Rondo tonight? Tonight. What time yeah. did he call you? Like four. Four. Four, four like four, a. Three. And you went yeah. on stage at like nine. Yeah. I, I don't even remember if I had a complete. I think I just went No, you didn't there. have a complete because I just yeah. saw you in the performance. Yeah, I think we just staged like the end. Like, the That's end. right. We just walked the little, what do we yeah. call it? Country dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where yeah, we're yeah. all in a little square and yeah. we look at each other. Um, I wanted to watch the whole thing, but I have a quick change. Right. So I was like rushing really quickly and I ran to, <laughs> to catch like just the little last bit. But mm -hmm. I think they just put that in the digital season, didn't they? Yeah, they did. That's super cool. Yeah. I didn't catch all of the digital season, but they some did. of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you watched all of them as, did, yeah. as you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good bunhead. Are, are you more of a bunhead than most of your friends? Like your roommate, Kennard, was he watching with you? Yeah, but I think I'm definitely more of a bunhead. You're more of a bunhead. I'm, I'm more of a, I'm pretty, I'm not extreme, but like. Are you watching, in addition to watching performances, do you watch like videos and like what oh, yeah, else? Absolutely. Yeah, tell me, what, what are you doing? I'm just watching, I watch it all. I'm on like YouTube all the time. Are you watching I'm a bunch of Russian dancers? Sorry? Are you watching Russian Bolshoi dancers too? Bolshoi Royal, I, I mean, I watch it all really, I mean. That's amazing. I mean, okay. as one should, as yeah. one should, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've, I've always done it too. I've always been pretty extreme, I guess. And you know, yeah. you've grown up in the era of YouTube where that's, yeah. that's your resource. Yeah. I kind of yeah. didn't even realize that there was a lot of dancing on the internet until <laughs> like a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah. And you know, our company, we're pretty private about what we put out there. So yeah. I assumed that most other companies were the same, but no, there's like Royal Ballet has stuff. And actually my daughter, yeah. she is obsessed with Swan Lake. Mm -hmm. She says, like, we have a book and it, you press the buttons and she can listen to the music and you tell the story. Mm -hmm. And so she says Swan Lake and we like watch. So I'll Google like, I like to show her like four little swans. Uh -huh. But then afterwards she's like, more, more. This is like the sign uh -huh. language for more. And yeah. then like the coda of third act comes on. And the guy comes out, it's like a royal ballet version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy comes out from the wing and she goes, whoa! <laughs> and she watches the fuetes. Like, sometimes we just Google the 32 fuetes. And she's, like, watching yeah. them and she's, like, learning the word fuete. And I'm like, what am I creating? <laughs> like, so she watches more YouTube videos than I do of dance. <laughs> she's on her way. I don't know, though. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, how did your... How did your parents feel? Like, they obviously didn't push you into it. And they don't push your brother into it. No. I, I, mean, I wonder I if... I ended up quitting at one point. I wonder if they're like me, like, a, a little bit, like, want to protect you from the harsh reality of the ballet world. Like, I feel nervous that my daughter's kind of into it. Because she's watching me dance, and I love that she can watch ballet and see music. But I also don't want her to, like, have any hardships in it. Like, it, it's not always fun or great news. Like... Not everybody yeah. gets to do everything or gets into the summer program or gets that role in the recital. Right. So did you ever feel that your parents wanted to protect you from that? Maybe, yeah. I mean, my dad definitely had it pretty hard. Um, right. But I don't know, really. I don't think so. I how mean, does, maybe how does he? How does he talk about Mr. B in the end? Does he? With love, always, yeah. Because he grew up with him, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. yeah, but what a what a dramatic experience he went through, and I could understand why you'd be a little bit reserved in having oh, yeah. your kid go down the same line. Well, I'm really glad that he let you because we're so happy to have you. You're one of my favorite new people to dance with. It's been awesome. a pleasure. We should talk. Um, we did. What have we done together? Dances at a gathering. Dances at a gathering. Yeah. Isn't there another thing? Or is Maybe. it just dances? It's just dances. Maybe just dances, yeah. But you learned Zakuski. Yeah. How much fun did you have with that? I didn't get, I got injured. I didn't get to see the rest of DC. Right. Did you just love that role? It's a Peter yeah, Martin's ballet. It's actually my favorite. Isn't it the best? It's actually my favorite, yeah. But like, so hard. It's really, it's honestly, I think it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I completely agree. You know yeah. that one part like in the finale, awesome. it's like the fake finish? Yeah. And everyone everyone claps because they think it's over. Ooh, I think it should stop right there. That yeah. should be it. I was really bummed to not do that. And that was supposed to be my last performance ever with Joaquin. 
Oh, man. I was, yeah. like, so heartbroken that I, my foot was being weird. And so, yeah. Indiana, your partner went in. She danced with Joaquin, and then she danced with you. Right. But isn't that just the best ballet? And it's so really? up your alley. It has so much style and kind of, like, Russian character to it. Mm-hmm. Russian yeah, character dancing. Definitely. Where yeah. you, like, slap your thighs and... Yeah. It's really, it's super up your alley. I wonder, I hope they keep it in the repertoire because... Me too, I really love it. It's like one of the longest ballets for two people. It's, mm-hmm. tw- it's like 20 minutes long. I mean, like, Tarantino yeah, is 12 is. minutes, Vols Fantasy is like... All of those things are pretty small. Every little, you know, yeah. kind of featured couple like that. But that one is like super epic, so... Yeah. Yeah, I hope, I don't know how it works now. I guess he has to give permission, or, but I hope that we get to keep doing it, and maybe someday we'll get to do it together. I hope so, yeah. Cool. Well, Roman, thank you so much for re-interviewing again with me. <laughs> thank you. Uh, have a happy holidays, and, and say hi to your family that I'm obviously obsessed with. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Bye.